Listen to me, you hillbilly punk who thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat! <laughs> Interesting guy, man, and uh, you know he believes it. So, Kyrie, the Earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So whatever. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> this is the Truth Frequency Radio Network. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently anchored over Atlanta, Georgia, watching the Turner Broadcasting System decide on how to spin the Flat Earth Conference, which happened over the weekend. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is anchored over New York City, monitoring 21st Century Fox. What will the two giant media corporations do? Stay tuned and find out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, then you're still hungover from the FEIC 2017 conference. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, the show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. Quote of the day. Oh, you know what? No, let's do the date thing first because i got to start doing that more. If it is not November 14th, 2017, that means it's a rerun, which means you can call and you go to voicemail, but you won't be able to speak to me live. Quote of the day from the peanut gallery. Goes a little something like this. What is freedom but the ability to make choices between courage and cowardice, duty and love, or even heaven and hell? The nature of the choices we make define us as human beings. We choose the world we inhabit. And that is from The Outer Limits, Tempest episode. Quick few announcements and then we'll get right to it. Jeffrey Grupp debate challenge is still in effect. So anyone wants to get on that, if you don't know about it, ask somebody. Big Money Challenge, also still in effect. If you don't know about that, email Kathy Dunson at perilandra77 at gmail.com. That's P-E-R-E-L-A-N-D-R-A 77 at gmail.com. It will be a call-in show. But before I give out the number, I'd like to make a quick request to people out there that have flat earth license plates that have not sent me the picture. Ran into this at the conference with a couple people. They said, oh, yeah, look, I got a flat earth license plate. It's like, uh, how am I going to put this into a compilation if you have not sent it to me? It's great that you have a license plate and great that you're driving around with it, but I like to show it off. There's a lot of people with license plates. I want to add to them. I know we've got most of the contiguous United States and quite a few of the Canadian provinces. And really, that's all the countries that are allowed vanity plates because we're weird over here. But the rest of you get on the stick. Okay. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. That's 213-233-3998. If you're in the UK, you can call 44203-393-2871. And if you want to call, 
and just listen to the show on your phone and not worry about me picking you up, it's 641-793-7117. And with that, let's really begin the show. Uh, tonight, before we take calls, and I, I know you guys, there's a few people out there calling already, but uh, we have a special guest for at least at least part of a segment, and that is the lovely uh, Shauna Collins from, I believe, is it is it Hijack Radio now, or is it the talk radio still, or is it both? Well, it's actually a Hijack Radio on the THA Talks Network, so Got it's it. both. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, then I am glad I had you clarify. How are you, by the way? I am still hungover from the event. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, Emotion- I think, um, emotionally, physically? More on- emotionally. I think my my brain came spinning off a few times throughout the week and um being that i do radio i completely destroyed my voice which is which is probably not a good thing as you can tell i've got a little bit left long enough to a little bit at least say hello to everybody (laughs) it was it was great seeing you and i'm glad we written we crossed paths many times during it because you know there were things we had to do but my god it was frantic at some points it was uh, between the amount of people that were there and the media, which really surprised me. I mean, as you know, I did, what, 14 interviews in two days? And, yeah. and we've only, only a, fraction of, a fraction of them have come out now. The big, big ones are going to come out this weekend. But there was a point where I remember Daniel from the L.A. film team, he, he said he was just enjoying watching me just spin. <laughs> I was just being, I, I couldn't go. I had no idea where I was at some point. But, well, uh, yeah, you were, it was like you didn't know if you were coming or going, but there was yeah. always somebody there, so it yeah. didn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Never alone. Uh, it was, it was, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, the energy was through the roof. So much positive energy uh, in the building. And, of course, it didn't help that we got free drinks for two and a half hours every night from the hotel. And so, you know, Flat Earthers, they can drink. Wow. <laughs> those, those people can put away. They, the Flat Earth groups close the bar every night. There were Flat Earthers there. The conference didn't even start until Thursday. And there were Flat Earthers there on Monday getting ready for this thing. And some that even stayed through Sunday. So it went Thursday and Friday. I left on Saturday afternoon. And, you know, I'll, we'll, you know, we'll take calls and, and, and talk about that. But uh, it was uh, uh, not everything I had ever could ever hope for exceeded my expectations. And uh, you know, considering it's the first time a Flat Earth conference has ever even happened in the 241 years of the United States and 500 years of Western civilization, uh, I thought it I thought uh, the producers did a wonderful job. Yeah, there was an amazing turnout and a lot of people all with the same kind of vibe of just being open and engaging. I hugged so many random people throughout that time. It was just it see my voice is already breaking, but no, and, and there was a there was a feeling of of history being made not only because it was the first one, but because this is the only time that we are going to really have this kind of intimacy in the group like next year's is going to be amazing but next year's is going to be massive yeah yeah so you know you're not going to have the opportunity to meet everybody the same way right yeah this this had that you're absolutely right it had that feel where you could you could still get and talk with people and you wouldn't feel like you missed out you know you couldn't just sing it's like i want to meet this person and you had to dedicate your time to trying to meet that person uh, but yeah, if this thing gets any bigger and I'm sure it will, given what the media is already touching on, uh, it's good. Yeah. It was, I, again, it was a u- unique experience. And if you were there, uh, you got to be part of the first one, which was amazing. You know, the, the UK one coming up, hopefully the Sydney, Australia one coming up, they're already promoting the, the Denver one. That's going to be at the end of next year. You know, there's rumor that the Los Angeles people are going to actually host one before that. So who knows where this thing's going to go? Uh, I'm just I'm just going to say yes to whatever and go wherever it takes me. So you know, I have to admit, I already picked up my early bird ticket for the UK. Really? One. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for the UK? Yeah. yeah, I did, and I'm just hoping, like, okay, we'll I'll put this out there, and hopefully everything will fall into place again, and and it'll be the first one over there. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to get to the UK for years, but this is what 
actually motivated me to get there. So <laughs> yeah, UK one's going to be fantastic. I'm one of only two Americans that are going to speak, be speaking there, and I don't know who the other one is right now. Uh, more details to come on that, I'm sure. But let's get to why you're here exactly. Why because am I here? you're here because it, we everything got so busy at the conference that, uh, in fact, you weren't the only one. There, there was other yes. things. That, Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Well, you know, it'll totally wind down after lunch on Friday. <laughs> that would be a direct quote from Mark. Yeah, yeah, it'll totally wind down. Yeah, I wrong, mean, sir. No, it was, it, I was absolutely wrong on that. It just got, I mean, l- luckily for us, most of the media had left. Yeah. Uh, but even with the most of the media gone by Friday evening, it was it was tricky. We, we still didn't get to raffle off everything. Uh, I know that Kathy Dunson and Zen Garcia's whole book thing was was taking up most of the raffle. The point was is that there's some things that needed to be raffled off that we didn't get a chance to raffle off. So, what are the things we're going to be? So we're not we're not nobody's calling in and doing a raffle thing here. The, the raffle tickets. All we're doing is I'm going to be using some of my mental powers to help choose the raffle tickets which have already been bought and Shauna has, but I'm not next to her. So I'm going to like you know do my whole you know finger to the temple and concentrate real hard yeah we'll that, do the so mind mouth thing we've we've had a couple of years to work on this so it's it's there cool. you go so what, um, are, what are the things we're raffling off so we actually just to to clarify there was no cost to the raffle it was actually for people to sit down and spend a couple of minutes with me interview um in order to find out what their what their motivation for being there was what they were thinking of the conference thus far and um you know, how they got into it. And a majority of people I noticed had gotten into it because there was a recommended video in their YouTube feed, mm. which I thought was, was really cool. So um, cool. we are going to, um, because Hijack Radio is a two host show and my co-host is uh, Miss Stephanie James. And if any of you have listened to the interviews that we did with Mark, you would know. She is over in the UK. She actually does teach at the UK, I'm sorry, the London School of Astrology. And one of her her side gigs is to interpret birth charts. So she was kind enough to offer up two short form birth chart readings as part of the raffle. So you have those two. And then we also have a copy of the Flat Earth Clues book signed by our wonderful Mr. Mark Sargent. Eh, well, that sounds like an interesting prize. Um, yeah, I, I do remember signing that, and uh, I'm I'm so happy that I could I could donate to this. So let's do it. Uh, so you want to do the astrology ones first? How do you? Um, so... Yeah, yeah, because there's okay. two of them as supposed to one. That, okay, that so what I'm going to do is I am going to have you take your finger, your index finger, or whatever finger you want, actually, and point straight down. And just move your finger in a circle. And when I say go, you drop it on one of the one of the tickets. Ready? Okay. I am ready. Okay. Go. That is going to be uh, Shannon. Let's see here. This is going to be ticket number four two zero eight. Two nine. Um, don't worry, I have everybody's contact information, so I can go ahead and let her know that she has a report. And then also, caveat: um, Stephanie is hugely busy right now, so if we can actually wait to do, um, schedule the birth charts until after the beginning of the year, that would be fantastic. Cool. All right, let's do the second one, and I'll come up with a different sound effect for that. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, my whistling, it was just not going to work. Yeah, it didn't uh, really work. Okay, you ready? Can't do we'll Vanna, so. I got... <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, I don't know. Let's come up with something. Maybe uh, a dead language which hasn't been spoken in a thousand years. Arubaka. Go. That is. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nice. See, I have better sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's because I'm highly med- medicated, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, that's good. Um, 420827, that is going to be our Belgian princess, Dee Dee. Oh, nice. I had a chance to meet Dee Dee. She is going to be tied to the UK conference, and I am hoping to meet her in London Hot Sex and discuss some things with her. She's fantastic. 
Cool. And yeah, she's actually she's helping to organize the whole thing. She said that um, this week she's still in the process of processing everything, and then she's going to be full on promoting uh, starting next week. So yep. definitely, everyone keep an eye out for that. I will also be making promos for the UK conference uh, pretty soon. I just get to figure out who the the second American, or actually the other guest, it may not even be American. I know I am currently the only. I am the token American going, which makes me feel a little weird. Because I've never really been the token anything. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. No, that's not true. I've been the token guy at like mostly female functions, which is weird. And Sounds like an interesting story. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. You're thinking, what, you went to a strip club? That's not a big deal. All right, here we go. So for the last one, you know, finger pointing around. And this time I'm going to uh, do the Jeopardy song. So da, 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 da. Da, na, na, na. Go. I was going to say you're getting a little close to copyright infringement there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. So our last raffle for the book is going to be uh, number 858715, which is going to be Mike Wood, who was a fantastic interview last minute at the very very end of the conference that I was able to sit down with him and he had a lot of really positive things to say about the presenters such like yourself uh, really cool and really open and he actually got to sit down and have lunch with a couple of speakers and he thought you know just like regular people that's so cool and awesome. everybody was on the same same that's vein so that's really great well awesome that's, I am. I am glad I could help with that. Any anything else you'd like to chime in with? Or, I oh, I I'm gonna go make some Tennessee tea and get to bed. To be honest with you, I'm dying here. <laughs> All right. No, no. You did. You did great. Honestly, your your voice and I've heard you. You know, when you've been, I've heard you in, under multiple circumstances, and you did great. I you have a you have a wonderful radio voice. I got my start on silent radio. So. Oh, nice. Cool. All right. Well, if if if. <laughs> If anybody was that, that was an inside joke. Wasn't it? <laughs> How was do you terrible... have silent radio, Mark? Uh, no, no, I know, no. Okay, you say that, but that's not what I thought. I immediately, immediately jumped to because there's so many different radio networks that I thought it was oh, like is you it know, like a real network, like yeah. like a network called Silent Radio, which is actually a clever name for a radio station. Well, no, the the joke is actually I don't know if you recall during the roundtable, but I have the the same microphone that you have, right? Right. And he failed to mention that the little red light was not on. Oh. <laughs> and I've I've actually had that happen a couple of times where sound has been my, the bane of my existence. So, oh. it's well, definitely. Uh, yeah, and mine because you have the silver version, I have the white version of that. And mine, they complained about it in the Amazon reviews because the red light is always on. It is never. If it's plugged in, it's constantly active. Yeah, apparently it's a power thing, and the little jack that I had was not powerful oh, enough. So, but that's I'm, okay because I can do something else with it. I'm I'm versatile. It's it's quite all right. It'll all be right. great. All right, cool. Well, hey, you have a good evening, and I'm sure we will talk soon. And and you know, my people will call your people, and, <laughs> which you know. just means I'll call you and harass you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Thanks, hey, you have a good one. We'll we'll talk soon. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. That was Shauna Collins. And we have a bunch of calls lined up. So with nine minutes until the break, let's just go straight to it. So I hope you guys are on your toes. And you're not falling asleep. And you have to give the phone numbers out. Well, no, I don't. Not right now, Peanut Gallery, because, my God, I've got, I got calls stacked up. So I'm not giving out the phone numbers at the moment. Let's go straight to 707 area code. Looks like Eureka, California. Let's see what's going on. 707 area code. You're on with Strange World right now. What's going on? Hey there, buddy. How you doing? I can't really complain. I've, I've got my sleep <clears throat> schedule back, and the conference is over, mm -hmm. and now I can get back to work. What's, uh, what's going on with you? You had a good conference? It was amazing. Uh, I would That's great, man. Yeah, yeah. I, every, everybody se it. seemed to have fun. So. What, That's uh, great. What, Glad to hear it. What's on your mind? I'm just calling. Uh, I'm wondering why there's a lot of issues in the flat earth community mm -hmm. that are kind of up in the air, up for grabs. But the one thing 
that everyone seems to be so sure about is this ice wall. Sure. Well, actually, not a lot of people are super sure about the, the, the ice wall, but even mainstream science, if you take pictures of the wall itself, look, you know, the Antarctica, again, from a mainstream science standpoint, is super interesting. You got 200 feet of ice going straight up. I mean, it's not Game of Thrones epic ice. But once you get on the top of that thing, what, what I think is even more interesting is that the, the whole continent slopes up to 14,000 feet almost immediately. So it's the ice wall technically, if you want to call it an ice wall, is so freaking huge that it can't even really be photographed accurately. I mean, it's, it's, it's massive and it goes up to two miles. You can't back up far enough to actually see the scope of it. So is that sort but of help? You know, because you, you've... you've sailed by it and you've seen it with your own eyes you're, you're sure of it well i mean there's a whole bunch of national geographic photos and people that have been down there taking pictures with penguins why i know but it's not it's, it's supposedly not just down there right i mean it's it's on the uh west of uh california it's on the uh north of uh, canada it's on the east of siberia you get it i mean it's supposed if it's, it's supposedly everywhere yeah yeah, I mean, if you follow, you know, if you ignore GPS and if you ignore compasses, you fall, go far enough, yeah, you will run into it if Antarctica is everywhere. It's, it's all around us. Yep. Yeah, it's all around us, right? Yes. I'm just wondering how you're so sure of this idea when there's so many ideas that are kind of up for grabs. And, oh, well, maybe you're always so sure of this one, one idea. And I'm just kind of wondering why. How can you be so sure of this idea? You mean as far as just the Antarctic coastline? Because that's what we're talking well, about here. Yeah, that that all these seven continents, mm -hmm. which is supposedly is big. Ooh, something happened. He got disconnected because I knew where he was going with this. And yes, the peanut gallery was reminding me it's a troll, but I do like playing with trolls from time to time. And unfortunately, this one gets to go away. But thank you, though, for trying to troll me. Let's go to Denver, Colorado. Some of my first rodeo kids. Denver, Colorado, 303 area code. Are you there? This is Tony from Denver. Hey, Denver, turn off your phone. I'm Pick here. up. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Yeah, 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 but you're not, you're not next to your microphone. I'm here. It's, it's, Tony it's, from Denver? Yep, I, I, I kind of hear you, but you're, you're super, super quiet. I, are, you, are you talking on a, on, do you have your, your headset plugged in and, and maybe you're picking it up through that? Phone driving down the freeway. Oof! It's it's sorry. It's it's not clear enough for me to pick up. Can you can you call back and we'll we'll try it again? And in the meantime, I'll I'll pick okay. up somebody else. Call call back. I'll rem I'll remember the number. Okay. Bye. Okay. Sorry about that. It just it, look. He was too quiet. I I could not actually hear him. Oh boy. Uh, you know what? I'll pick these guys up before the break. Sure. Why not? Let's go to Beverly Hills, California. I haven't heard from these guys in a while. 310 area code. What's going on? Mark, it's uh, Mark. Hey. And, and Rob. Of course. Yeah? Yeah? What's up, what's, Mark? what's going on in Beverly Hills? What's new? Not much, man. I mean, I, we, you know, we would have loved to come to, to the conference, but of course, it's kind of, you know, far away. We just couldn't get out there. Oh, that's okay. But we heard it. We saw some. We saw the film. It was pretty cool. It looked pretty awesome. Yeah, there's there's going to be a Very lot good. of stuff being released on it. I uh, I mean, I don't know what I was more impressed with the um, the enthusiasm of the crowd that was there, or the amount of media that we didn't expect that just seemed to come out of nowhere. Wow. Uh, they I don't know. They, it was like they were calling each other, and they just started multiplying. To at, there was some points I literally what? didn't know who the cameras were. <laughs> There was a lot of mainstream media, right? I'm sorry, say it, say it again. There was a lot of mainstream media that covered it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did, I did 14 interviews in two days, and they were not lightweights. Uh, let's see, ABC Nightline, HBO, German Television. Really? Yeah, CBS Affiliates, BuzzFeed, which I hated because that guy is, is going to try to screw us. Uh, NSTV. You did HBO? Yeah, yeah, HBO Vice was there. They were there for three days. Wow. Yeah, and that thing will probably wow. air this weekend. That was that was really fun. That was that was a fun team. If if uh, if those if Brady's listening, hey Brady, 
Uh, yeah, they were great. So, yeah, I mean, it was all, you know, French newspaper, British newspaper, uh, Australian newspaper, you know, it, it was amazing. I mean, there was just a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I put together flash drive press kits and I thought I brought too much and I, when I brought a dozen and I gave them all away. One of them, the guys copied it off, gave me back the flash drive. So I gave that one to another person. And I still had the NSTV wow. interview at the end, which was oh yeah, it was it was crazy. So and we're just starting Are to see. Are any of them it. taking it seriously? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. They're and, they're and treating positive articles about it, or just crazy. Well, it, we'll we'll see how positive they are. I mean, the BBC TV um, uh, fluff piece that came out today <laughs> was all right. Mm-hmm. It wasn't bad, but that followed up with a, a BBC radio thing that I'm going to post uh, hopefully this evening, maybe after the show. And the rest of them we'll see. I mean, most of them are kind of treating it like a human interest piece where they're looking at it's like, okay, we're not going to debate the flat earth as much as we're curious about who's involved with the flat earth. And so that'll be fun because I like those uh, glasses you had on uh, (laughs) strobe light glasses and the and the. uh, you know the, the the bow tie. The bow tie, yeah. <laughs> Those, I, yeah. that was one of my my secret weapons because I knew Patricia Steer was going to wear a dress, you know, that was made out of six hundred year old extinct silkworms, and and you know it was it was going to be something amazing. So I figured no matter what happened, I'd go up on stage and no one would even look at me. So I said, okay, I'll beat I'll beat her with electronics, and so I went on Amazon. I only got yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, well, I bought it from the same company, so the colors matched. And we didn't even know what I didn't even know the color of the dress because her dress was actually a light blue, so it worked. It absolutely worked, and the glasses were were wonderful. You nailed it. And, uh, thank you. And they were cheap. You could buy those yeah. glasses for like eighteen bucks on Amazon. It was a uh, it was it was wonderful. So I had a lot of fun. Believe me, I'm I'm getting my next I'm getting my next pair of the blue on blue flat earth fucking Mark Sargent. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, I thought you, you know were, what? Yeah. Go ahead. Good. Oh well, I was. Uh, I thought it was really funny, like when you got on the stage right in the beginning, and right off the bat, sure enough, some dude throws off the like. You didn't know, like I don't know what he was saying. You had to pull out like. Oh crap! Hello? Hey, we're we're going we're going, uh, we're going to break going first to break. break. Sorry guys. Um, call call back and we'll put you back in the queue. Okay. 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 All right. Cool, man. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from deception. T.L.R. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World with Truth is often stranger than fiction. This is part two of four. It is a call-in show. That number is 720-897-6111, 720-897-6111, or 213-233-3998. We have a few calls on the line. But before we do that, I'd like to mention, and I forgot to do this with Shauna uh, Collins, who was on the first segment. I wanted to read this real fast. I got an unusual email before I started the show. And it goes a little something like this. It was, it was actually in comment to the uh, little fluff piece that the BBC News ran uh, on their website. And the title of the email is called BBC News. And it said, and goes like this. Mark, did you say, don't believe me, I might be a mental patient? Expletive, Mark. Why are you wasting your time? You could be so successful at many, many things. Proof. You have no proof, and you know it. Total charade. Now, I get emails like this from time to time. That part didn't bother me. The part what, that bothered me was it was sent by my cousin, <laughs> uh, a girl who, I'm sorry, a woman who is a little, little bit older than me, 
who has never said a cross thing to me ever in her life. I mean, ever. Not in person, not in emails, not even really in jest. And she shot that off to me. Uh, I, I, I was shocked that, that she would do that. But this does get to show you. So anyone out there that thinks I can't relate to you uh, dealing with family members when, when you bring up the flat earth, I absolutely can. Although this one came out of left field because she's known I've been into it for some time. I don't know. Maybe she had a couple of bottles of wine before she did that. But it was very, very interesting. So I hope she comes around and, and you know, doesn't, doesn't say anything going forward that might inflame the situation but isn't that weird i thought that was weird okay let's go to the phones let's pick up who we got here 585 area code 585 you are on with strange world right now what do you got hey hello mark uh my hey. name is melvin and hey. uh from from uh rochester new york cool <clears throat> long time listener first time caller right um on. I've actually been on this flat earth thing since 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of funny. I, I just, if you don't mind, I kind of want to talk about it just because sure. a lot of people around me kind of, you know, they, they don't really listen to me. So <laughs> that's right. Uh, Preach. But, uh, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, so when I got into it, you know, I was kind of home till now. And I used to, you know, I, I've been on conspiracy kicks for a while, you know, uh, watching YouTube videos and, uh, Sometimes, you know, some of them I take seriously, some of them not so seriously. Uh, um, sometimes I just like to watch them and laugh. If <laughs> I remember I was watching this one, like, about a big man-eating worm on the moon, you know. So I'm watching yeah. it, and I'm, like, cracking up. I'm thinking it's the dumbest thing ever. Then the next video in queue is, like, a, is a flat earth video. And for the life of me, I don't remember which one it was, and I don't know who it was. Uh, but at the very end of the video, he was saying that, like, you know, that the flat earth cosmology kind of lines up close to the Bible. Yeah. Now I'm a Christian. I grew up Christian, been in church my whole life. And so I was like, wait, what? You know, that one kind of threw me for a loop. But that was like the only video. Like at the time, there wasn't a whole lot of YouTube videos on flat earth. So I, you know, I couldn't really look up any more. I was looking for some. Uh, it didn't really find any. So as opposed to finding another video, I just pretty much cracked open my Bible and started reading through, you know, descriptions of the earth and the scriptures and come to find out that like i could believe i completely missed that you know that the the bible's a, a flat earth book you know mm-hmm. so um <clears throat> and so like i've been on this thing since 2015 and and uh it's pretty cool it's a gr- great journey like i realized you guys at the conference last week at the flat earth conference which is really cool man i, I got done watching through some of the videos today mm-hmm. uh actually at work because at work i'm not really doing much i'm just kind of on the computer, so I was, like, listening to them. I wasn't really watching them, I was listening to them. But very inspiring, uh, cool stuff. Um, and then, obviously, you know, uh, your videos is one of the ones I came across to earlier on, and uh, it was definitely, a, you know, one of the ones that kind of put put me over. And then I saw Rob Skiba and, like, all these guys, and I'm just, like, I just think it's so cool. I'm, like, yeah. on this kick, and it's hard to kind of get people around me to, like, to kind of get into it. I feel like I'm the only one fascinated by this. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And and there's ch- there's a chance there's people around you that do know, but they're not going to... I'm not shy of saying that, look, 90% of our membership is in the closet because they're scared too. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. Is, could he be one? Could he be one? I don't know. You know, we don't, we don't wear sure. badges or funny stickers on our cars and... You know, a few sure. of us wear T-shirts and stuff, but yeah, it's it's a tough thing. I've got this funny moment where, or I envision this funny moment where all of a sudden one day, you know, when the when the tide turns, that there'll be all these people who's like, oh yeah, I was into it. It's like, wait, you were into it? I was into it. And then you, people like, well, I was back in 2016 or 2015. Yeah. That's so. Don't don't get discouraged though. There's a lot of people out there, man. I was just in the middle of it. Sure. It's it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. hardcore. I just feel like a lot of people in my sphere of influence kind of just like there's literally like nobody. I talked to my sister and she's kind of kind of like understanding it because, you know, she's also a Bible believing Christian. And when I kind of presented her the evidence of the Bible, it really kind of opened her eyes. But right. then like her husband, my brother-in-law is like a military guy and he's just totally against it. Also Christian, but just totally against it yeah. and just. You know, I mean, every time I bring it up, he gets really upset, and I just yeah. I don't get it, man. I'm just like I'm just talking about I, I you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just talking about scriptures. 
That's that's conditioning, yeah. though. That is classic conditioning. You show anybody. You condition somebody for 12 years, because that's what we're talking about here. You put a globe in the classroom, yeah, yeah. you get to high school, that's 12 years a globe. That uh, CIA pays good money for that sort of conditioning, and it, you know sure. it's it's amazing where people what people defend. Plus, it's your home, so you you're, right. so you're, you're telling people. I mean, it's that's straight out of the, the Matrix, straight out of Neo. You're telling me right. I don't, uh, you know, I don't live where you know say I am. It's like, you know, I've, I've people get upset, but they do eventually come around. They do. Everyone's yeah. got their own adjustment yeah. period. Get discouraged. I hate to do this to you, but unfortunately, we got. All sorts of people that are calling. Um, tell you what, this, hey man, no this, this, this is your first call, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How, how do you think it went? Think it went pretty well? Oh, I thought it went great. I just want yeah. somebody to listen to me. <laughs> so, <thanks for laughs> I listening. totally I listened that. to you. That's fantastic. And don't, <laughs> by the way, don't be shy to jump into other, like jump into chat rooms or jump into some of the, there's some live hangouts. You don't have to put your, your, your face in there. But there's lots of live sure. hangouts where people – it's like jump in and, and, and be there with a group. It's it's really reaffirming. Even I do it from time to time. Yeah. So don't gotcha. don't just wait for we'll my show. We'll definitely do that. The, the, the other, the other <laughs> places, they won't yell at you either. Just make sure that you go in and start listening to the room before you jump in because, you know, there's some troll hangouts as well. And they just – you know, they wait for you like a big right, bear. Right. So any – well, thank you for, very much for, for calling in and uh, – uh, again, stay strong, stay flat, and, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. You too, man. Bye. All right. Let's just – we're going to jump right over because we got to punch through calls, guys. Uh, let's do 254. Who's it? 254. 254, you're oh, on the shit. air. Strange world. What's up, Mark? Hey. What's up, Texas? I was – Hey. I was just listening, but, you know, you picked my eye up. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, you were just, oh, oh, no, I can I can put you back on mute. That's okay. You want to go back on mute? Yeah, it's okay. I wanted to say something real quick. Okay. You know, Patricia reminded me so much of Lois Lane when she's interviewing Superman on the rooftop, on her patio. Oh, that's nice. You, oh, like the old um, Margo, is it, geez, was it Margo Kidder? Um, I cannot yeah, the, remember the, her name. You know the Lois blue Lane. flowing dress. The, the yeah. original Lois Lane from the uh, from the nineteen seventies or the one from like ten years ago. Oh no, no old. Oh, old school. Chris, Christopher Reeve Superman. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. you know what I'm talking about when he when he's like, she's like, yeah, with her my panties. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, the lead line, yeah, lead lined underwear. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I, I'm a huge, as you know, I'm a huge comic book fan, and I know all the movies, and that's a wonderful compliment to pay. So awesome. Yeah, she was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, she really was. And in person, I got to tell you, the pictures don't even do her justice sometimes. You know, to when you see her up close, it's like holy smokes, what is she doing in our group? I, you know, when, yeah, when I didn't sets, know if you had thought about that, but she really did because that it was so flowing and pretty and blue, just uh, like it, it was very similar. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I, well, I know I didn't think of Lois Lane, but now I'm, I'm going to tell her if she's not listening already. And in fact, I have to yeah, apologize. Yeah, you gotta tell her. I got to apologize her to her real quick because the peanut gallery reminded me that she can't have a dress made out of made out of silk because I think that you, if you're a vegan, you can't use silk because it's exploiting the silkworms i don't know I, I, if it is that I'll, I'll make up something else that's even more grand well, than they, they make it for us i'm sure oh yeah vegans they you know they, the same things about honey you know the honey is being made and you, they're not they don't eat honey either and i but hey look all god's children i'm not judging whatever uh I, to, to each their own their choices right you know if if i don't agree with your choices then yeah. you know well I only mean that in some choices. Keep that to yourself. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you don't push your choices on me, we're cool. Right. Right. I hear you. But All right. I, um, I personally am a carnivore. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking no one. Okay. I'm going to put you back on mute, and then you can listen to the show. And I will remember not to pick up Eastland, Texas, unless you hang up and then call back or whatever. Yeah. I'm not, if, I, if I do that, it's probably because I'm wanting to sell you something. Okay, I'll <laughs> I'll look and see if you drop. Okay. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right. All right. Eastland is now off. 
And let's pick up. Oh, let's pick up. Oh, there's Beverly Hills again. Let's pick up uh, 401. Let's grab them real quick. 401 area code. You're on live at Strange World right now. Hello, Mark. Can Hi. You hear me? I can hear you. Hi, this is, uh, yeah, this is John. I called, uh, I don't know, I forget, three or four weeks ago. I think okay. I, uh, I was like the first caller on your show. Awesome. From uh, East Coast, uh, a little crappy state of Rhode Island. But, well, uh, it's small. I don't think it's crappy, but it, but it's one of the well, states you, I don't think I've been to. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that northeast, yeah, that well, that, uh, that northeast tip. I mean, you got to have a good reason for going up there. It's not like you're just passing through. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll just tell you, there's not a lot of good reasons. So you know, <laughs> uh, but maybe maybe at some point in the future, if it has something to do with flat Earth, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, you know, but it but it's interesting. I had like uh, you know. Um, there's a lot of nice beaches here. If you ever are up here, you know, our nickname is the ocean state, even though it's small, but there's a lot of coastline, a lot of beaches. And there's actually like uh, well, some really good flat earth viewing opportunities. Once I get the right equipment, you know, I'm going to oh. go out and uh, do some, uh, yeah, a lot of pictures, telescopes. Uh, yeah, man, it's, just, it's awesome. But again, you know, it's one of those things you remember back to something like when you were younger, like I remember uh, one of the beaches in uh, South, um, uh, let's see, southwestern Rhode Island. When mm -hmm. I was a kid, I remember sometimes you could see. Well, actually, you know, talking to somebody uh, who actually lives down there, um, you know, during the summer, you can see Long Island and the tip of it. Now, when you look at a map, it's actually not terribly far away, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's like you know, eighteen, nineteen miles, uh, possibly as much as twenty-five or thirty if you're further up the coast. You know, and it's like, it, it's right there. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> it's just like, yep. it's one of those stupid things. I remember seeing it as a kid. You don't think of it, you know, and then like you get into flat earth and it's like, oh, holy crap, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, it's interesting. Cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just actually, I, I started watching some of the videos from the flat earth uh, uh, conference. Uh, conference. Those yeah. are uh, really cool. I've watched some of Dean Odles. I just watched all of Rob Skiba's, and uh, yeah. you know, I'm sure slowly I'll work through all of them. Cool. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of content uh, in the conference, but it was. Oh I yeah. Think, I think it was well worth it. I mean, it was some great people, some great speeches, and and considering that nobody knew what each anyone was going to do, very little was replicated. You know, I I would have thought that we would have duplicated some information and whatever it, pro, call it providence. I, I don't think nobody yep. did, you know, like comedians sometimes will be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Or they'll listen to each other's sets. But in this right. case, it, it all worked out. It was it was great all the way around. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, it was great. Rob, Rob Skiba, man, he's like, I think uh, you and Rob Skiba were probably the first two I looked at. And uh, man, Rob is just like. I think he brought about five hours of material. So oh, my God. Do about 90 minutes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that and he made that special slide <laughs> saying that I ruined his life. That was awesome. I was so happy. He, oh, yeah. He, yeah. he put oh, that, that one in that there. That was funny. Yeah. That was good. On, uh, on April, I just watched this like a half hour ago. Like on April 15th, uh, 2015. Yeah, Mark Sargent ruined my life. <laughs> and Mark Sargent ruined my life. It's like great. And I, I will, I'm not going to shy away from that. I mean, he, he knew what he was getting yeah. into. He didn't have to invite me on the show. And uh, and luckily his bias was was subdued, so he didn't come at yeah. me that hard. He just sat back and listened, and I think he knew deep deep down he's going. You know what? Uh, biblically, I think I might have a problem here. And so now, yep. I mean, there he is, flat Earth conference. He's all out. So good for him. Yep. I, I hope his interviews go well, and I I hope he gets some great things out of it. I'd I would love to see him do well. Yeah. Anything yeah, it's, else? Um, I don't know. And I, I tell you what, man, like I'm, I'm really getting into this too. And who knows? Uh, I mean, it, it's just really a matter of getting some good videos together and uh, just yeah. being willing to stick your neck out there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, you know, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have one thing people underestimate in this. And I already have this. I think you have it. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some really thick skin. You, you have, and if you don't have it, you know, don't, don't stick your neck out there because yeah. you gotta have extremely, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 
Look at the chat rooms on YouTube. Or oh, the, my the, God. Uh, the, yeah, don't get me know, started on that. The, the, not the chat rooms. Well, the chat rooms, I'm talking about the messages underneath the video. Yep. Oh, yeah, the, com- the main comments. Oh, God. No, I, comment, didn't, comment. I didn't turn on those comments on any of my videos for the first six months. And because I knew yeah. what was coming. And the second I did, as like I told people going, look, I'm probably <laughs> not going to be reading much of them because it gets ugly in a hurry. So, uh, yeah. yeah, if you yeah, if you if you have a fragile ego, if you don't like hearing bad things being said about you, don't do it because it, it'll I know I've seen people pull off of YouTube because they they or or they're not ready for it. Yeah. They go, oh, how bad could it be? It's like, no, 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 it's bad. <laughs> Imagine the yeah. worst thing you could ever oh, it's come good. up so with. Bad. Yeah, but it, it's... It, you know, it's one thing. Yeah, you nah. know, it's one thing. Like I, I, uh, I, you know, I already kind of believed some. I guess you could call them controversial things. You know, I come from the the biblical flat Earth kind of uh, line of thought. Yeah. And you know, so even before all of this, uh, you know, I I believe, you know, I believe like the moon landing was fake. I was into a few conspiracies, but you know, I believe the Earth is uh, around six thousand years old. Yeah. You know, I believe in a in a in a guy with an ark. You know, I believe in uh, yeah. Jesus and a resurrection. And just even those right there, talking to somebody who really doesn't, you know, you can just get completely lambasted for that. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. now <laughs> you throw in, <laughs> hey, look this. Oh yeah, too. by the way, you know, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. So oh yeah, people yeah. will absolutely so, come uh, at you. Um. Anyway, yeah, I what. That's good stuff. I hate. I, again, I hate to. I hate to cut the call a yeah, little a short. But yeah, you know, I was gone last week, no, no, no. so there's a whole bunch of people right. coming in. So I, I got to pick them up. Yeah, hey, I know no, the, the peanut gallery is going no problem, tick tick man. tick tick. But thank you, thank you, and no, no uh, problem. We'll, we'll talk soon. Okay. Absolutely, man. Be good. I'll All keep right. listening. Stay flat. All right. Talk okay. to you later. Talk to All you right. Later. All right, uh, let's pick up. I'm not going to do Beverly Hills right the second I see you guys. I'm going to pick up because Albuquerque's called in a few times. We're going to pick up 505. Uh, we'll maybe we'll run that one to the break. We'll see. We got the eight, eight minutes or so. Five oh wait, oh Jesus, I clicked the click the wrong button. No, I didn't. 505 area code. You're on with Strange World. You might be the last one before the break. Are you there? Oh, good evening. Yes, I am here. I'm in Albuquerque. Hi, what's going on? I saw you trying to call Hi. a few times. What? Uh... Um, yeah, yeah, but I finally got through. Sorry. Just wanted to let you know that you have a fan base, you know, in Albuquerque. We love you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I have tried to get a group together to follow, you know, Dean Odell's mm-hmm. stuff, and because he inspired me to go out and buy a King James Bible, I really, really dig. Uh, Pastor Odal, but your show is great too, and the whole flat Earth thing is really, really awesome. And can I do a shout out? Of course, you're going to do a shout out. Okay, I just want to do a shout out to uh, John. He's actually from Rochester. I know you had a guy call in earlier from Rochester, but John is out in the East Mountains, hmm. uh, just east of Albuquerque, and he is a huge fan of yours. And he's from Rochester, but he's been in New Mexico for a long time. Cool. Well, thank you for that, and I hope yeah. he's listening. Wonderful stuff. Oh, he's and, listening. He's cool. Listening. Any anything else? Um, well, I just feel that um, people like Alex Jones, because I am a huge InfoWars, um, I'm an Info Warrior, but I feel people like Alex Jones, they know, and they're gatekeepers. And so, you know, I kind of end up resenting that yeah. about Alex. <laughs> yeah. I hope I never yeah. get put in that same it's... ballpark. I'm sure the accusations will come from that time be... to time. But That uh... you would be a gatekeeper? Oh yeah, that you're yeah. A oh, I'm, I'm sure that the accusations will come. Of, you know, you, if you get big enough, people will accuse you of that. But I, I promise, I'm not going to be hawking yeah. um, some odd, yeah. some weird products. And I, for me, look, for me, I'm just staying flat Earth. And I've told this to people also. Right. It's like, look, that's right. that's right. what I do. If awesome. somebody tries to say, oh, hey, you got to cover aliens, or hey, you got to cover. Bigfoot. It's like no, 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 no. Flat Earth's my thing. This is where the ride. Is Alex, I know there's somebody who tries to get a hold of Alex with Flat Earth, and he really slams the guy. You know, he just like bruh, hits the. Hits well, don't the go don't worry. We'll stuff. we'll find him eventually. Yeah. I am I am not not okay, too concerned. Yeah. We'll look we'll at him. Anyway, yeah. well, thank you. Okay. 
Thank you. Um, oh, yes, it's a pleasure. Thank it was an absolute pleasure. And uh, it, you know, feel free to call in. We still got two more segments. But, uh, oh. but thank you and, and on with the calls, as they say. Uh, you you okay. have, a good, you have a good rest of your evening, okay? I'll keep it flat. Thank you. Keep it flat. See ya. Although keep it flat is actually Patricia Steer's thing. My thing is stay flat. I think it's simple. It's two words. Keep it flat is three words. I like the number three. Anyway, you know, let's pick up Beverly Hills and take them to the break because we got four minutes. And that way they won't run long. All right, Beverly Hills, you got four minutes. What are we talking about? <laughs> all right, all right. It, it's just Ross. I was, uh, <laughs> to get back to where we were, where I were thought we? it was really funny. Well, where were you were right. You just got on the stage, I think, and you started giving your, and it was a great uh, opening speech I thought you gave, by the way. Well, thank you. you. Know, kudos to you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I thought it was really funny, like the third question in. <laughs> Some dude gets in there and starts screaming from the back. He's like, dude, you're ruining flat earth, man. You fucking just, yeah. I could, you know, he was like the third dude. Remember him? You had a yeah, flaw, yeah, you're like, yeah. big. He was, he was taken. He was, <laughs> it, now, to be honest, though, he actually, or to be transparent, he actually apologized to, to, to me later in the lobby. He he was just messing with me. I, I, there were, I never actually ran into a full-blown serious troll, not like the guy that called in earlier, a full-blown serious troll at the convention. Uh, he was he was just taking he was taking a little bit of a ribbing and luckily for me I had my things I've been accused of list on the back of my opening statement and I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to read it so I was actually happy that somebody did it's like right on I get to read my list all the things I was accused of and, <laughs> well and I mean go ahead we can kind of come to like a little bit of an understanding as to I mean even though it's like who cares this Mark Sargent's like pretty much meeting with HBO and meeting with all the fun. He's like doing all the groundwork. What, what are you doing? Like, yeah. why don't you put on a big festival and go meet HBO? Like, yeah. I don't want, you know what I mean? So it's like, who cares anyways? But yeah. I, I mean, you could, you could understand like why these guys are like, but you know, flat earth is like the ultimate connected dots, like reach for the stars community. So it's yeah. like, dude, you're gonna, we're, it's like, you're going to get hit with these theories. And it's like, you know, I mean, I listened to what was his name. I don't even know who that guy is. What is it? O D G O B G O D G. Otherwise known as Overdose Denver. That, but yeah. <laughs> no, that's what it stands for. That's, so that's literally what it stands for. <laughs> that's over, it's over, Overdose probably Denver. Gonna, he is, dude, he is so angry at you. It's like, I, I don't know. know, there was a song made. It's like, this dude is fucking just. Uh, I know. You know. I know. Well, that, by I'm the like, way, though, dude, that is. Like, I am not the reason he didn't come to that conference. His channel is bigger than mine. He gets a whole, you know, gets a whole bunch of views and a whole bunch of things. He could have easily asked, and he did not. He could have asked the producer of that conference to say, "It's like, look, I have a problem with Mark," and and you know, I. But he didn't. So whatever. And he wasn't he the was only guy to back out either. That year, Go ahead. He, he was trying to show evidence that uh, that that year that Patricia's and your apps were made in the same year. That's yeah, what he was two, showing. Yeah. 2010 at the same time in 2010 yeah five but, years right, before cares, the blues really? came out yeah no and 2000... right, yeah. like you said it's a template thing right like they make it's a template anyway oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's modified data. i mean i'm actually a developer so i understand the whole template creating thing yeah. yeah he made a whole bunch of stuff in 2010 and he just picked you know he's just picking up the templates that's all he was doing so i mean for god's sakes what in 2010 i was playing video Ooh. games and drinking a lot of wine I was not doing anything flat earth, so I, and why would I wait? So yeah, I, we we made the app in 2010, and then we waited five years. No, I don't think so. A little bit of a stretch. <laughs> so, so it was never made in 2010. So how? No, no, the template was made. In, made in, the, no, no, the uh, the app was made oh. in, two, in the, the app wasn't made until 2016. So, I, I, I the get the first bug fix or something, right? Or something well, like yeah, no, the, it was just the, the first, generic, the it was just one. a gen, literally a generic template that they just turned into something. So, the, 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 blank right, well, it was also Mark, Mark Sargent and yeah. Patricia Steer, like steering a wheel. And <laughs> right, right. what was it? So Mark Sargent, like the sergeant of like, I don't even know what this is saying, but it was. Oh, well, I have to say it. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> the, mu the music's playing, guys. You're gonna have to go back to the queue. We'll uh, we'll come oh, back. Oh man, dude. Uh, sorry, we'll All go right, back to segment three. Okay.
Not gonna be uh, we love you, Mark. Get up, man. <laughs> Truth Frequency Radio. You are now tuned into the Truth Frequency. We are TFR. TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. I've always been a big fan of that track uh, by Chip Baker. Uh, he uh, called Major Kong. That's all those audio clips are from Doctor Strange World, Love, the famous movie made by Stanley Kubrick. Phone number to call in is seven two zero eight nine seven six one 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 seven two zero eight nine seven six one 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 or two one three two three 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 nine nine eight. I think we have Alhambra, California on the line. And then after that, we might pick up South Carolina and we're looking at New York and there's Dallas and North Dakota. Uh, let's try California, though, first. I think I know who this is. California, 626, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? It's your hey. Uber driver from California, bro. It's Flat Earth Uber. <laughs> Dude, so hey, I got to talk to uh, I got to talk to Wes the other day on a hangout. Uh, that was kind of cool. He was telling me that uh, when I call into your show, I should make sure I have some kind of uh, some kind of way for you to know who you're talking to. And I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure he knows when I call. Actually, yeah, I only get I don't get like, a lot of calls from Alhambra, California. So and and plus, in your case, it actually says your name. A lot of people, it doesn't say your name, but it actually says your full name, all caps, on on my board. So really, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it does. So other people, not as much, but the um, uh, so I get so just so you guys know, I see a caller ID, I see the caller name, I see the location, and then some other little technical de- details, you know, for the drone strike team. But uh, yeah, in your case, I, I see the name. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Hey, congrats on the uh, on the conference, man. Thank you. It was a real hit, dude. It was real fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. With with a lot of benefits to be paid off shortly with all the media stuff. Uh, the BBC thing was just the first, and by this weekend, we should see what the media has in store for us, because there was a whole bunch of them there, and they weren't just concentrating on the uh, circus sideshow stuff. They they seem to be interested. So crossing my fingers. Yeah, you know what the sad thing though, I even the people that were at the conference, even if no matter how interested they were and how much they themselves decided to research stuff, mm-hmm. did you know that the network itself is not going to put flat Earth out in a good light though, right? Like, well, <laughs> well, they shouldn't. But at the same time, if you believe that this thing is going to get released sooner or later. They got to ease into it, and even the BBC thing that I ran into today, they were pretty fair when they were just, you know, they weren't just coming down hard on the guests. They weren't coming down hard on me. Uh, not They're not softballing it necessarily, but they're, they're, they're being restrained. So, again, I, I just hope the others follow suit. Cross my fingers. Plus, they got the, the full-blown documentary, which won't come out until... Uh, early next year at the earliest, but that's that's what I'm really anxious to see because that's a full blown two hour whole you know look where they've been following us around for six months. So should that should be fun? 
On top of that, uh, I heard that the Boston Globe, the same guy that interviewed you, mm-hmm. uh, interviewed a fellow by the name of, uh, he goes by the handle of Jibby Jedi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he did. And that, yeah, that I've, was... been, I've been talking to him and he's supposed to be doing some kind of, uh, they're supposed to be doing some kind of story or article or on him. It's like yeah. 25 words or something like that. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's a big, yeah. The Boston globe has been sitting on this one for a little while. In fact, I was emailing that guy today and they're close. They're really close. So that, that should be a fun story. The NPR national public radio, that story is coming out on the 17th. And that is both audio and internet, so that should be fun. I don't think the I don't think they shot video. I don't think they shot video. I think it was just audio only. But yeah, so there's a whole bunch. I mean, literally, I lost track of I I could not name off all the interviews I did. So and that was and it wasn't just me. I mean, there's a I mean, there was a whole bunch of people. And it wasn't just me to choose from. So these guys were the people that were there interviewing. They were interviewing me pretty much nonstop with the exception of the German team, the German television team, who only picked, and they picked in advance before they got there, uh, Rich, uh, Mr. Thrive and Survive, and myself, which I thought was an interesting choice. It's like, okay. Because, yeah, I mean, Rich was there, but I mean, we, I, I was just a little surprised. I thought they would have gone in a different direction, but no offense to Rich. I mean, he's a great guy. I just didn't, I was just kind of curious why they chose that combination. So anyway, it see, from what I from what I saw, uh, it seemed like they were like interviewing all kinds of people because like Candy, if I'm I not mistaken, she was interviewed what like three or four times. Yeah, she, Candy was interviewed three times, and one of them was by BuzzFeed, and that's the one. If you want to watch for wait wait for a hit piece, that's the one. Uh, BuzzFeed didn't want to even talk about flat Earth; they want to talk about how the internet has the ability now to create cults, you know, how that, and he was looking at me like a cult leader, you know, saying that, you know, and you're using the words like followers and religions and belief. And, uh, it was, it was, I knew where he was going with it. It's like, I don't know if he's going to get much traction, but I mean, it might be an interesting story, but yeah, wait for that hit hit piece to come out. You'll know, you'll know when you see it. So I don't hate the guy for, for doing it, you know, cause it's pseudo tabloid journalism, but eh, I was going to say, it sounds like you were just kind of being an asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, he, he, again, I, I understand it. I mean, why why wouldn't he say that? I mean, the internet, he was, the social media does have an amazing influence nowadays. No question. And, but I try to put, give him some perspective and say, well, you know, before that was television and before that was radio and before that was newspapers. And remember the, um, the old War of the Worlds radio show? Where they announced, you know, they did a fake. Oh ape. yeah, where yeah. everyone went nuts. Yeah, people fake. Were, ali- uh, didn't people like commit suicide and stuff like that? Like, well, all kinds of crazy prob- stuff. probably a few, but a lot of them called the police, and a lot of them were running outside to see where the alien invasion was coming from. And Orson Welles, who produced that show, he knew what he was doing, and that was just radio. That was, you know, so the power of any media. Yeah, it's so I, I, I get it. The only difference really is, is that social media has instant gratification and we can do it a lot faster than when we used to. I mean, seriously, you could broadcast stuff over a phone. I don't really know. Peanut Gallery says not true. All right, Peanut Gallery, chime in. What are, what are you saying here? What is Peanut Gallery saying? Anyway, while, uh, while I'm waiting for the comment from Peanut Gallery, what uh, what else you got? Anything? I... Nothing much. I've just uh, I've been thinking about hacking my brother's PS3 and flying a rocket to the moon. <laughs> because it's got the processing power. Nice, nice. Well, considering the fact that uh, it's, dude. Okay, <laughs> the, you remember the old Nintendos, like the yeah. old old Nintendos. Yeah, first generation or yeah, Super Nintendo. Yeah, they had twice. Go ahead. No, the first generation. Okay, the old, first the old gray brick. All right, I know the gray brick, sure. Uh, dude, they, that thing had twice the computing and processing power than they used to go to the moon, supposedly. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really? Like, like I mean, Can, anyone yeah. who still thinks you, believe you live on a globe, just stop and think about that. Do you think you could fly to the moon with a Nintendo? Right. There were, you know, you're absolutely right. There were, we weren't even... 
and I again, granted, I'm a little older. You know, we had our personal computers. You know, didn't come out. You know, until the early '80s. The nobody had personal computers. It wasn't even a word back in the '60s. I mean, literally, the only people that knew anything about computers were high-end engineers, and the computers took up entire rooms. They were monstrous, and even then, they had no processing power. They were tape-driven. They were slow. They were awful. And you, we're supposed to think that uh, those computers got everyone, you know, did all those wonderful physics calculations and got everyone to the moon and back safely. Nobody died. Uh, nobody got radiation poisoning. Nobody was trapped. Nobody was marooned. The, you know, Apollo 13, sure, a little bit of a glitch along the way, but they still made it back. So, yeah, I know you're absolutely right. It's a piece of crap. Don't believe the hype. Dude. Anytime I think about the uh, the old school computers like you're talking about, mm-hmm. it reminds me of uh, Willy Wonka, dude. <laughs> that computer where they were trying to find the chocolate bars, and the wow. computer gets all smart with them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We, we, are we talking <laughs> the, the the new Willy Wonka or the old school one from 1970? I'm talking Gene Wilder, bro, the original. I'm going to have to... Wow! Now I'm gonna have to watch that again because I've got the, the thing that I want. Yeah, dude, there's a there's a part in that movie where the scientist guy is standing in the middle of the room talking to some other guys, and they're trying. It's when they're everyone's searching for the candy bars, and he tells them that they're oh right right right. Oh, I'm find sorry. Them I the chocolate bars. You, no, you're absolutely right. I was thinking it was in Wonka's factory. No, this is pre. That was pre Wonka's factory. While the kids, where everyone was trying to find the bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they, where it was saying, yeah, they were using a computer to see if they could, the processing power could determine where the Wonka bar would be. Yep, yep, yep. I, I totally remember yep. that now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, before I let you go, real quick, the um, uh, peanut gallery wants to chime in about the War of the Worlds thing. He goes, uh, War of the Worlds propaganda story. It was hyped by the newspapers to drive people away from radio. Interesting. Never thought about it like this. Like War of the Worlds was a was a big deal, but the papers made it even a bigger deal because they they didn't want you know like anything radio was going to start hurting newspapers, which it didn't, and nor really did television. They basically demonized the radio, yeah. is what they, they demonized did. Demonized right? the radio because they were competition, which makes sense because corporations are ruthless, <laughs> absolutely ruthless. You know, if you have any doubt of that, look up the movie uh, Who Killed the Electric Car. Uh, that'll show you how ruthless they are. Anyway, um, exactly. I hate to, hate to hate to kick you out, man, but I I got I got calls. Oh, I got, dude, no problem. I understand, bro. You got calls, and I heard that you had New York, so I'm guessing that Zulu's probably on the line. Uh, uh, you know I what? love that guy. He's awesome. He is there. You know what? I will pick him up next, just because you mentioned it. <laughs> All right, bro. Hey, I'll talk to you later, man. Uh, right. Thanks a lot for uh, picking up on the call, dude. All right, we'll Have talk soon, night, okay, bro? man? All right. Stay flat. All right. All right. Let's pick up. Sure. Why not? Let's pick up New York. And then after that, we'll pick up uh, South Carolina. I'm sure we have time for that. And then, yes, I still am looking at Dallas and North Dakota and Twin Cities, Minnesota. Okay. I got to click the right button. Make sure nobody makes a false move. All right. 845. Hey, 845. If I'm not mistaken... I could have sworn I saw your phone number come across my cell phone earlier, which means you were trying to call the show and you kept going to my cell phone. And you know what I have to say about that, don't you? A rookie mistake. You hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw hey, it's Mark from New York. I'm watching that that thing. I'm going, he doesn't know he's calling my cell phone. <laughs> my yeah, cell phone. Totally didn't know. And I'm going. I'm. I'm trying to figure out. I. I was. I was joking to myself. I wonder how many calls it's going to take him before he figures this out. My cell phone, by the way, it's no big secret. It's out there on every one of my videos. It's three zero three four nine four six six three one. You can call it if you want, but I'm not picking up during the show because that would be rude. How are you? Hey, obviously, <laughs> uh, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. It was yeah. absolutely amazing to meet you, Mark. I'm so glad that we hooked up and we had our mandate and went on dinner had dinner and it was great it was mark, great I, mark, I really mark, yes, mark got to uh take me out to uh dinner he's going we're going to a steakhouse i'm gonna buy you a steak we're gonna sit over dinner and i'll be damned if we didn't do exactly that in the rain in south yeah. carolina 
I'm sorry, North Carolina or South Carolina? North Carolina. North Carolina. North. North. And uh, it was it was a blast. I, I the energy in the room was fantastic. The the people were great. Uh, not a not a bad moment to be found. You know, and and I kept saying, every large function is at least one a hole. At least maybe two. Yeah. And I didn't meet one. No. I didn't meet no. one. I didn't. Everybody I didn't. was outstanding. I didn't meet one either. And even the protester that we have had the lovely Islamic woman who protested the Christian pasture on the second morning session. Uh, even she was a flat earther. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'll take it. Why not? It's no, not... I think she's entitled to her opinion, but yeah. I think maybe she handled it wrong. She should have waited till after to just talk to him. You know, I have a funny feeling she's more clever than people give her credit for. And I got a funny feeling that she knew exactly what she was doing because right. she, the, cam- she wanted the-, the cameras Maybe. followed her out and the cameras wanted drama. They're like, oh, it's Friday morning. This, this, this sermon, you know, the cameras weren't falling asleep, but they were looking for something a little meatier and they found it. So, hey, sure. More power to her. Hey. So it was, uh, I just. And also, I've never been to anything, a vacation, a gathering, anything where I went home and I was, like, bummed. I drove, so, like, the first couple hours, I was like, man, this is so sad. I just, I'm leaving all my new family. I I really, really, really Yeah, well, you, you, I I gotta tell you, you got your freaking money's worth. I mean, you had, you, you had so much fun and it was so intense for you. I mean, I had speaking things I had to do. And, you know, get, I'd, I'd prep work I had to do all the time. And no, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I was I was great. But you, my God, you were absorbing it. Uh, I, I envied you guys because you were a, every night. I was a 300 pound social butterfly. I went to everyone. <laughs> I didn't care who you were, or what you were doing. Hey, how are you? My name's Mark. What's your name? How the hell did you get into this crazy shit? <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. And then yeah. we just talked. Yeah. It was and, awesome. And it, was, it was really good. Took over the lobby, and no one was safe. If you came into that lobby, you were part of that hotel, and you were not part of the Flat Earth Conference. God be with you, because you. We were talking to the pilots yeah. at four in the morning. We're we were all still up drunk because we all went out and got supplies because yeah. we knew the bar closed at two. Yeah. So we were still up drinking and hanging out in the lobby and the pilots were getting up and going to work and we were yeah, talking to them because it was people some were were receptive that hotel was very close to the airport it was, i think it was like the closest hotel to the airport so a lot of pie it's a yeah. favorite for it's a favorite for pilots you know you go in there it's literally you know, like an eight yeah. minute ride to the to back to the airport and yeah we were merciless it's not like we were pinning yeah. them down and, and twisting their arms saying you know say it say it Say flat earth. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Say it, say it. That's too funny. Well, you know, putting their... No, no. Well, one group, it was freezing cold, and one group of guys was like, it's too early for this shit, and they went outside and rather stand in the, stand in the freezing cold and look at and point at us than talk to us. <laughs> and, yeah. and nobody was rude. No, no, no. no nobody was get... rude. They were just like, don't want to hear it. That shows you. I mean, <laughs> so you, you, people... You don't understand. You think you have confidence that you're, uh, you know, when you're home alone, you know, and and you're 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 around, you know, everyone else is around you. You think they're not into flat Earth. When you get a re- <coughs> because remember, this is the first meeting of its t- kind. You put hundreds and hundreds of flat Earthers in the same area. Oh my God, there's literally there's nothing off limits. It's like I'll yeah, we'll talk about flat Earth. You know, power in numbers. And it was it was fantastic to watch. Uh, the energy was was beyond what I've ever could have hoped for, and the coverage again yeah. was was perfect because that we had a nice grouping of um, you know mainstream network and podcasts and international. That was part that surprised me. You know, newspapers, newspapers from one, two, three, three countries: England, France, Australia. They had newspapers there. Which was great, and you, they're flying in for it. I mean, the Germans spent a couple days with us. That was that was unique. So it was it was great, and they fed off of each other, which was you know it, because they weren't leaving. It's not like the media came at, came in and said, "Oh, this is a bust. We gotta get out of here." They, they all said, "Okay, yep, everyone, we're in the right place because these guys are here and these guys are here," and you know, it was it was it was fun. Yeah, I, I was I was sad. I didn't get uh, I didn't I didn't get like Buzzfeed. I wanted to. 
get one of those ones that was no, going to try no, and no, it. I don't know. If I they, wanted one of those. Uh, no, plus, I, well, I, I got in. I I got in that interview with you and Patricia and uh, Shane, uh, Shauna. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Shauna, who you just Shane. heard tonight. Yeah, Shauna. Yes, Very yeah, nice she was girl. awesome. She Very was nice awesome. girl. She has. She is one of my uh, and, uh, favorite radio voices because she knows how nice. to uh, to inflect in a certain way that uh, it, it does well. She 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 knows her talents. Yeah, so. she's good. She's yeah. definitely good. Um, I have a quote everybody. for you. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay, I have one for you. Okay, here's you a quote. First. Okay, my quote is, uh, at the heart of science is an essential balance between two seemingly contradictory attitudes, an openness to new ideas, no matter how bizarre or counterintuitive they may be, and the most ruthless skeptical scrutiny of all ideas, old and new. This is how deep truths are winnowed from deep nonsense. Who said that? Carl Sagan. There you go. There you wow. go. And he also asked if, if I wow. if, if you bought me flowers and chocolates. And I said no, but he did drive and uh, he didn't open the door for me, but you know, I'm gonna forgive that. It's, it's okay. No, well, you know, hey, I didn't, I didn't want to be too forward, you know. You know, I already, I, I brought you a shirt, you know, the That's gifts, true. you know. I, I didn't yeah. want to be too forward and start opening the door up and stuff, you know. Nice, I was like, nice. that might hey, cross the line. Hey, what what else, <laughs> what other quote? I, I got to give you one more minute, unfortunately, because we get, so we get stuck. All right, I, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. What do you got? I got, a, I got a quote. All right. Don't be dismayed at goodbyes. A farewell is necessary before you can meet again. And meeting again after moments or lifetime is certain for those who are friends. Oh, Richard Bach. I'm sorry. Who said that? Richard Bach. That's awesome. That's so appropriate. That's great. Thanks for that. Right? Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. Totally, perfect. man. That's and, and I'll try and shout out everybody before you cut me off. Okay. Uh, go. 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 Let me Do see. D. Dean. Rick. Alex. Melissa, Dee Dee, Shauna, uh, Shannon. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh, Nathan. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to keep going. Karen Steve. and Candy and Nathaniel. Oh and... uh, uh, no, no, those those are my closers. My favorite. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Go. Uh, uh, all right. Well, I'm saying now, Candy, Nathaniel, <laughs> Karen. They were awesome. We yeah. we were together the whole week. It was phenomenal. Nice. Um. Oh my God! There were so many people. You don't have to uh, thank everybody. It's it not the academy. Johnny. Oh God! Here we go. I know. No, I'm not this, thanking you them. You wonder I'm why they play hello, music at the awards? Awesome. This is why. This is why. Right here. Yeah. Right. Close out. Well, right. I want to thank um, everything. I'm, I'm, I want to I'm, thank I'm, everybody. All there my were so many. My friends. There were so no, no, many it was, people. It was great, man. And we yes. will talk. We will talk some more about this. Absolutely. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough for coming and and helping organize all the group. It was it was a fantastic time. Yeah, I and hopefully you'll so enjoy the gift. I think that's now. coming your way. Check your mailbox, okay? All right, all right, cool. I, and I was looking already at Denver and where it is, the location. It's like a fifteen-minute ride. The hotel's right there. Conference oh yeah, yeah, center, it's whole deal. It's it's. it's I already scoped it. All right, man. Yep, I got And I think my wife is going to come this time. All right. Well, cool. I'd I be happy, happy to she meet. She missed her. the best party ever. I told all her right. she missed the best party ever. <laughs> cool. All righty. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Goodbye. Yep. Goodbye, yep. everybody. Yep. And I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, Dallas. 214. Wait a minute. Who is this? Did you call in earlier, Dallas? Yes, I certainly did. Oh, my God. <laughs> you was. finally you finally yeah, got cool. in live. Holy smokes. How are you? I got... well, have, have fun. Um, are you ready for me? Yeah, do it. Oh, it's uh, Jan in Dallas, and I I streamed the uh, conference, and it was absolutely out of sight wonderful, and all the good accolades that she got was so well deserved, and it was fun to reminisce for those of us that were listening that night on Rob Skiba's show a couple of years more ago when you were on, and that's when I became a, a, a flat earth person, and uh, it was just just so neat and I thought the letter that you read was wonderful and the uh, shout the um, 
the uh, shout out that everybody gave, you know, when everybody just yelled when the with the kids were yeah. a third of them were yep. having that uh, that discussion. I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. And um there was one question that I didn't get answered at the conference with the questions, and I'd like to ask you now. Sure. What is your favorite ice cream? <laughs> My favorite ice cream is chocolate marshmallow ripple. It is made by the oh. Sh Schwann Corporation out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And some people are saying, well, that's not a high-end ice cream. I go, it doesn't have to be high-end. As That is a childhood ice cream of mine, and we bought it by the, by the gallon plastic containers and ate a ton of it. And it's great with, it's great with all sorts of stuff. So that's my favorite ice cream. Oh, Oh, that's great to know. Well, thank you so much. And I, listening on the phone, I, I do believe about the Islamic woman. I believe she knew exactly what she was doing. Yeah. And uh, thank you for being there for us, Mark. Oh, my care. my pleasure. Thank you for calling in, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was Jan from Dallas. I love that. Every once in a while, I'll get messages from her. And I have to hear them like two or three times. Because she has the most, she has the sweetest delivery, and I'm so glad that she called in live. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up South Carolina real quick, and then we'll take him through the break because we only got about thirty something seconds to the break. So let's pick up South Carolina real quick. South Carolina, are you there? Eight six four. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, so here's okay, what we're going to okay. do. You'll, you only get like 20 seconds. Can you stay through the break? Can you stay if uh, I put you on mute and then pick you back up? Is that okay? Of course. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put you on mute, and then we are going to go off to the break. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. There's the music. Crazy how that works. Timing. All about timing. Real people, real radio. Initiating the truth frequency. Yes is Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four. Yeah, that was Joe Jackson stepping out from his album, Night and Day. And the peanut gallery is developing a new new theme, and that is every time that song uh, rolls in, he says, sing it like something. And like today, he says, sing it like men without hats. He, he, he creates these combinations which are pretty damn near impossible. But I think they're funny anyway, the fact that he asked me to do them. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're going to punch through as many calls as we can in this last segment. I think we can get – no, I don't think we're going to get through all of them. But let's start with South Carolina real quick. Let's pick him back up. South Carolina, 864. What are we talking about this evening? Uh, first off, I'm Walker from Greenville, South Carolina. Hey. Uh, I would like to talk about something said at the conference that I uh, sure. I have an opinion on and I want to know yours. Um, sure. Somebody mentioned towards the end end of the uh, conference mm -hmm. that NASA will be dismantled within a year, either one year or by the end of 2018. That's their goal. <clears throat> that's their goal, anyways. And and that's great to set goals, but uh, in my opinion, in in a year, two years, three years, it's gonna be it's gonna be more like a Hillary Clinton Foundation. Uh, everyone with any common sense knows about it, yeah. but they're just, you know, Hillary Clinton's never going to go to jail. You know, this, I, I feel like there's got to yeah. be some, some 
damning evidence. You got you you got a point there. Opinion. Well, and I've said this on a couple of things, which is it's going to be as much as we'd like to to take down NASA entirely, and and I do think NASA is going to have some real problems real soon. Because you always want to follow the They're money. They're going to have to pull a rabbit out of their hat. Yeah, the yeah. only way you're going to get out of this, you can't get out of this like the financial bubble, like the, the real estate bubble, where you, you, you bail out. Because it's not a bailout situation. It's a blame situation. So yes, NASA has done some bad things. The only question is, will they come back and say, we did it in the name of national security? That's their route, which is... And you you know, you can imagine some of these things. We did it. We, we faked the space program because we were told to because the popu- we didn't think the population could take it. We faked the space program because the builders of this place told us to. And if we didn't do what they said, they would just flood the place. We did. You know, it was, it, you can follow that with a whole bunch of little different scenarios. But that's what that is how you get out of it. So that we, because, as you know, they've been shutting down slowly but surely all these little avenues of the space group. A lot of the American public doesn't even the space shuttle program is gone. We don't even launch space shuttles anymore. They they quietly just said, oh, yeah, we're just not, you know, they try to subcontract work out of SpaceX, even though SpaceX doesn't do anything. So NASA has become now they made some promises, you know, the the Orion project, which they're going to you know, the Mars program, which they're going to kick down the, the road forever. So, yeah, you're absolutely right with the. the NASA is one of those corporations, all right, let's not say corporation, institutions that's too big to fail, much like AIG. NASA is tied to too many large players to just come at them with a class action lawsuit and say that, oh, yeah, you've been you've spent, well, an adjusted dollars, probably a trillion dollars and haven't done anything. You you done it. You know, so that that's they have to stop that before it even gets there, which is why I think we're so close. Because you have enough people grumbling about NASA, sooner or later the lawyers get involved and then there is a class action lawsuit, you know, usually by another corporation or series of corporations. So the only way to stop that from happening is to shift the blame, shift it, shift it quickly and to where there's no doubt that, okay, NASA's off the hook. And the only way you can do that it was, it was something monumental like – uh, you know, so, something along the lines of a national security issue, like a, a hidden civilization, like w- that—that's really what I'm what I'm betting on. Uh, a civilization that's that's bigger than us, that's older than us, that has that sort of authority. So yeah, I, again, we can still go after NASA, and we will help cause that event, but NASA won't go down in regular fashion like other corporations do. It's, it's just not going to go down that way. It's too big. It's too monumental. They're too intertwined in the defense agency. So that's that's my take on it. I, I like your explanation. That's, well, thank that's, you. Uh, I haven't thought of a few of those things. Hey. Oh, one more. Uh, yeah, well, one, I, one more. I have yeah. an idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a way to measure the circumference of Antarctica without uh, getting near it, maybe okay. within, I don't know, two or 300 miles. Okay. If if we chartered a boat and let's say a year, this this movement gets really really big. We get some big league players that can afford to charter a sixty man yacht and a bunch of flat earthers hop on a boat. Sure. And we take the well, Magellan route and the the supposed fifty to sixty five thousand miles that they uh, traveled. Right. That is is a way to do it without getting near or I don't know how close you, you get before they start, you know, shooting at you, but what, what do you think? Well, there, the, supposedly the Antarctic Treaty has re, has been extended out to the 60th latitude, supposedly. But if you could skirt oh, that, God. there's there's actually a way of doing it even faster, which okay. is, because I thought of the two boats thing mm-hmm. a while ago, right? Because uh, you actually don't do just one boat. You take two, and you have one go clockwise, one go counterclockwise, and eventually when they meet, it'll be a long, long time away. But you can do it much, much faster. You use one boat and one plane. So you have the boat sit, let's say, at the 6 o'clock position, right? And have them just sit there. They don't have to do anything. And then you have a plane, a heavy, heavy um, uh, long-haul plane, big, big fuel. And you have them either go clockwise or counterclockwise. And if the world, if Antarctica is the size of, let's say, Australia or a little bit bigger, they should be able to come back to that boat in less than 20 hours. That's how fast that test would be. If it is not, but but yeah, but there's a trick to that. Here's the problem with that. 
if you do this, you have to get a pilot that's willing to ignore GPS entirely, because remember, GPS works for the system, and they have to basically hug, ignore the compasses, and just hug the Antarctic coastline. I mean, not, not no, like right off of it, but within visual distance of that. And my only worry now is, since they've extended the, the band zone out to the 60th parallel, I don't know, even in an airplane, if you can see the, the Antarctic coastline in uh, the 60th parallel. But that's, that's how you do it. Yeah, if you had that sort of money, absolutely you could pull that thing off. And then, yeah, can you come back over the boat? Because technically, there's no way you should do it. I mean, after 20 hours, your GPS system would, would you know, you, yeah, I know you'd have to ignore it, but it looked like you were hardly moving uh, to where you would have to. There's no plane. I don't think there's a plane out there that could, would, could go that distance without refueling. 60,000 miles or whatever it is, yeah, there, I'm pretty sure there is not yeah. even a tanker plane could do it. So, yeah, it no, I like that. I like that test. It, sorry, go ahead. I just said it, it, it would be quite the expedition. Yes, for, uh, it, yes, it would. Yeah. Yes, it would. Any, anything else? Any shout outs you want to do? Uh, no shout outs except to all of my uh, flat earth YouTubers, Jaronism, you guys, Globebusters, Patricia. Um, I love them all. I'm pit- I cannot believe Jaron didn't win an award. Oh, no, he did. And, uh, no, no, he did. Did he? He did. What, he what did. Was the, it was a it was a it was a combination award though. He got best debate with uh, DITRH. It was him and DITRH versus NASA and SpaceX. And I can't remember for the life of me what the, what network it was on. Uh, but yeah, they absolutely did. And and David came up to 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 grab the award. But uh, but Jaron was it was that, in there. It was a it was a joint thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, is that video on YouTube? Yeah. 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 Yeah, the the award show absolutely is. Go to uh, oh boy, I think it's the Fly Earth In- International Conference channel, and you'll see it. But uh, David Weiss actually came up and and took the award for that. So awesome! Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, it was nice talking to you, and I, I plan saw- on calling in plenty more times. All right, I will be around. We'll talk soon. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Bye bye. All right, let's go to, oh, who we go to? Let's go to California real quick, and then we'll come back to maybe North Dakota, and then maybe Twin Cities. Let's go to 510. 510, area code. What's going on out there? Hi, it's your boy, Pittsburgh, California. Pittsburgh, California. Is it, it, it's Lathaniel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I can say now that you're not just the voice that I hear in a video that I watch, but it's mm-hmm. but we but we know each other personally now. Yes, I'm we did. We we did, and we saw a whole bunch of each other. And you had one of the yes. super cool custom shirts, and you get to hang out with Candy and Karen and Zulu and yes. all the the a lot of those guys. Yeah, uh, it's a it was a great great flat Earth thing, and I was so happy you made it. Uh, it, it was oh, fan- me too. Me too. Fantastic to see you. What's so? What's on your mind this evening? Any uh, any recaps? Any thoughts? Uh, man, just just quick recaps. You know, not a whole lot. Like I said, man, we on a personal level now, so I don't have to take up too much time. Okay. What wonderful conference and just special shout out. You know, Zulu, Zulu, Karen, and Candy. They already know that they 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 number one on the heart chart. But uh, I really really enjoyed uh, 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 Miss Kemi, we had a wonderful conversation, excellent conversation, and um, and, uh, and and Miss Kathy, oh man, uh, they they felt like I was talking to aunties, man, and uh, it was just wonderful, wonderful times. Then you know, to all the the, the haters, the pros, or whatever you want to call, whatever, and, and until you get the opportunity to meet a Mark, to meet uh, a Patricia, uh, 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 whoever was there that was presenting, Jaren, until you meet these people. Keep your mouths closed. I understand trolls going to be trolls. They're going to say what they say. But until you look in these people's eyes and get to talk to them face to face, you know, you have the opportunity, if you could, to make a judgment. Now, yes, I know we have all kind of preconceived notions about, you know, uh, 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 NDT and all those type of people. But we only share those ways about them because of the bold statements and accusations that they make. We're not yep. so much attacking their character. We're just attacking the, the, the statements that they're making and the claims that they're trying to put forth. But, yeah, so I just wanted to put that up out there. But, hey, Mark, I enjoyed you, man. Love you. And, uh, yeah, just like uh, Big Brother Mark, man, I'm uh, already trying to uh, put something together. 
for the Denver. I'm glad that they announced it. And, uh, yeah, uh, my family is definitely coming. And, uh, yeah, as soon as uh, tax season comes in, I'm going to start putting stuff together. So. Right on, man. Right on. Absolutely. It's, gr- it's Absolutely. great to hear. And uh, and we'll talk again soon. And Absolutely. Uh, and let me know. By the way, I've got the yeah. full I've got the full package of pictures. If you email okay. me and if you want them, I can shoot them to you through WeTransfer and cool. uh, and give cool. you everything cool. I got. Cool. All right. I'll make it happen. And uh, as soon as I get the time and dates together for the meetup, I will be like you know as soon as possible. Got to uh, catch up with the gentleman by the name of Mike over there in uh, Sacramento, and uh, yeah, we'll get that together. Right on. Sounds good, All man. Right, let's keep it flat. All right, keep it flat. Talk to you soon. All right, peace. Be blessed. Bye bye. All right, let's jump over to uh, Minnesota, then we'll go North Dakota. We we got time. All right, Minnesota, what is going on out there in Twin Cities? Hey, Mark Wesley Stage Flatter News Talk. Wait for it. Go. Uh, why? There we go. Why See, I God? Why have I you wish to help. forsaken me? I wish I would have been able to make a conference. It would have been so nice to be a, a speaker up there. I could have had 500 people sign. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. next year. Huh? Oh, no, we'll we'll get you in, man. And, and don't worry. I, I think there's going to be other things that will happen even before the uh, the conference in Denver. I think I think there's going to be some stuff happening. It's This thing's moving quick. So it, it I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sad you were there, but your name was brought up more than once. Oh, I'm sure it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I, I like the, uh, the way you kept an eye on the time because you know, they only let me out of my cell for so long. Yeah. So, because I was just texting, uh, uh, peanut gallery, telling him apologize for me. I got to get back to my cell. Oh, so. Gotcha. Um, he, he has a quote for you real quick. He threw it in here. I, the quote goes, I found one of my old partners, Larry, is in jail now. Larry got 25 years for something he didn't do. Well, he didn't run fast enough. <laughs> and that was from Damon Wayans. Nice. <laughs> oh, funny. Funny. I thought it was almost talking about Larry, one of our Flat Earth guys. No, no. no it's a good joke, though. I like that. I'm going to have to steal that one. Yeah, oh, cool. absolutely, absolutely. Cool. I actually have a really good quick joke. You might have heard it. I don't know. All right. It was actually done by a flat earther, All right. and it was uh, <clears throat> about a an atheist who went on an airplane. I don't know if you heard this one or not. No. Okay, uh, an atheist uh, tells a little girl that there is no God, and what she says shuts him up. Mm-hmm. Um, an atheist was seated next to a little girl on an airplane and he had uh, turned to her and said, uh, do you, do you want to talk? They say that flights go quicker if you strike up a conversation with your fellow passenger. Right. The little girl who was just ready to start reading her book replied um, to the total stranger, what would you like to talk about? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know, said the atheist. Hmm, how about why there is no God, no heaven, no hell? Uh, no life after death, and he smiled very smugly. Okay, she said, those could be interesting topics, but let me ask you a question. Uh, First, a horse, a cow, and a deer all eat the same thing, grass. Um, A deer uh, excretes little pellets, while a cow turns out flat patties. A horse produces clumps, Why do you suppose this is? Visibly surprised by the little girl's intelligence, the atheist thinks about it and says, I have no idea. Which the little girl replies, do you really feel qualified to discuss God, heaven, hell, life after death when you don't know shit? Ah, it's good. It's good. I thought that was awesome. Thank you. All right, with that, I will let you go, Mark. (laughs) Thank you, Wes. That's a great one to end on. All right, man. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. Okay, let's do... I got to get North Dakota, and then I may pick up North Carolina to end. We'll see. We got 10 minutes left, and I'm sorry there's a bunch of guys out there. I'm sorry, California and Texas, uh, Beverly Hills. I see you there. I know you're there. You already called in twice. You're not super high on my list, but we'll see what we can do, okay? North Dakota, you may be the second to the last call. 701, what's going on? Yeah, hi, Mark. How are you? 
I am fine. I think I know who this is. Can you're you on hear the road. Okay? I can. You're on the road, aren't you? I am. I'm heading towards your favorite ice cream city. <laughs> In Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. hey, I, I just, uh, I wanted to let you know, I've got several things on my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, the weather conference was awesome. Um, yeah. I, I just wanted to let somebody know from that whole event that the technology for the streaming, the live streaming, yeah. was incredible. Um, right. I was able, I didn't see the whole thing while it was live streaming, but I picked you up right in the middle of Texas desert and <laughs> I got on it just, just in time to see you get on on the Thursday afternoon uh, presentation that oh, you did. Oh, thank the you. Q&A awesome. that you did. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I was able to keep it on all the way through Texas, New Mexico, and into Arizona. So it was wonderful. Um, right. So uh, then uh, the next day when you're doing the award, I just wanted, I was thinking, I first saw you with those glasses on, I was thinking, when did Elton John go flat earth? You know, <laughs> when did you become a flat earther? You are so <laughs> many people. They should have had Rocket Man. Yeah, so <laughs> many people Man. said Elton John to me. It's like, oh, great. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, you look cute. Well, thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Um, okay, then the weekend before, I, we were in New York. I'm going to tell you, this is, you know, New York was fascinating, frustrating. It was our first time really inside the city. Mm-hmm. Um, we rented a car to go visit my, my cousin. And uh, my other cousin back in Berlin had a friend who lives in New York. So we got to go visit her on Friday afternoon and got up to her high-rise apartment. The first thing she did was to take us all the way up to the rooftop. They got a swimming pool up there. Yeah. You know, you could walk around the whole perimeter up there. It, 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 amazing view. I was like, look how flat it is. Uh, <laughs> and all those buildings that look like a forest of concrete and steel. Um, it, it, it was the most amazing view I'd ever seen uh, in a city. I, I, honestly, it was just, uh, it, it kind of surprised us how, how beautiful it was. Wow. Um, but... Anyway, this, this, this friend of my cousin in Germany, and I, besides, I'd like to know which German uh, news uh, I don't know uh, yet uh, either, because unfortunately I don't speak German. Oh, you don't know the name of it? No, okay. I'm gonna, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find it, though, and I'll post it as soon as I get it. Okay, that would be great, because I'd like to let my other cousin know in Germany or which magazine or wherever they were from. Oh, no, it's, and, and it's television. Know. It's television, so... Oh, it's TV. Oh, yeah, they may oh. run into it. Okay. So whoever sees it first, okay. please please let oh, me know. Maybe. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will. Um, so back to the New York thing. Um, I wound up giving her and her and her husband the gift I was going to give to my other cousin that we visited the next day. Um, your a copy of your book, a okay. platter, a Gleason platter, math laminated, mm-hmm. and a little scale because she had mentioned her and her husband are going to Vietnam pretty soon for oh. a, a trip. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> And so I gave that to her, and she I got an email from her today saying she's starting to read it. She says, so interesting. And now I have to email her back and say, I'll uh, have to beware that Mark Sargent might ruin your life, but um, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, all right. I, she's been I... very, very open-minded to it, uh, to a whole lot of things that we were talking to, to her about that day. Nice. And that's what got me to thinking I should just give that to her. Okay. Awesome. So, other thing that I wanted to uh, uh, bring up was your idea about measuring the circumference of Antarctica. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about that same thing. And I think, and maybe even an easier way, would be to station some boats on each leg of the longitudinal line. Yeah. And then have a smaller boat go between each boat going all the way around that kind of a relay Hmm. you know they just you know go from one boat to the next boat get refueled so it can continue on its course all the way around that's that's very interesting not bad well you know if you can anchor just anywhere uh, i mean not anywhere but you know as close as you can get to the the ice wall right then why not i mean just have these uh, boats be able to refuel the smaller boats that will take you all the way around. 
Right. So that was my idea. I don't oh. want to chime in that one. Well, thank um, you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, I think that's about all I had to say. Other than, you know, the, the, uh, we're now starting to replay um, sessions of, from the, the conference because we I didn't get the chance to view right. it all the way through. Or, right. And, and Ray hasn't seen it either, so. Well, cool. I hope I hope yeah. you enjoy it. I'm gonna I'm gonna trick. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm gonna pick up one more. And what happened to her? She I was understand. gone. I, I was understand. gonna pick. I was okay. gonna pick up cool. North Carolina, and then she disappeared. So now I may have to oh. end with somebody else. Right. That's okay. No worries. Um, any shout outs you want right. to give before you go? Oh, just the whole Earth Splatter community. Um, it was so wonderful to see the people actually, you know, face almost face to face. I got such a the warm fuzzies just driving along watching it, you know. Right. I mean, of course, I had my eyes on the road, too, but you know what I mean. Yeah, um, no, no. It, they, it was a wonderful it, broadcast. It, it, I'm glad they actually spent the money. It, it was. It, it, it came through so strong that you know, my, my heart was all, you know, going bumpy bumps. And, uh, awesome. That's great. <laughs> it was just great. It was great. Cool. So, kudos to everybody. All right. Well, hey, you have a good night, and I will see you next time, okay? Cool. Yeah, thank you. All, All right. right. Have a good one. All right. Yep, Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Bye. Okay, so we're going to pick up one last call, and we're going to take a risk here with North Carolina. North Carolina, you got maybe three minutes. Don't embarrass me. Did you save the best for last? <laughs> God help me. It's my future <laughs> ex-wife, Candy. Fantastic. Oh, good. What's, uh, what's going on, Candy? Have you, you have... Had, have, well, I mean, besides no fun at the conference, I mean. No fun at the conference at all. You probably enjoyed yourself literally more than any person at the conference. Yeah, and you know what? I did it kind of sober the whole next day, and everybody else was drinking, and I probably still had more fun. <laughs> that, exactly. I got to read this quote before we go off the air in two minutes. Uh, it's from the peanut gallery. Just for you, a woman will spend all her time dyeing her hair, putting on fake eyelashes, put up push-up bras, and makeup to go on a date to say she is looking for a real man. <laughs> Funny. All right. Well, I don't wear fake eyelashes, and I, um, we already established. We already that other established stuff, so. that there's something going on <laughs> with your breasts that I don't really want to comment on air. But I, I had so they much. They are fun. real. I believe you. I do. People don't say that about you, as far as you know. The uh, it's no, it's really you. You had a great time, and I'm so glad you were everywhere. You were running around just, and you didn't get thrown out of the hotel. And uh, <laughs> it was it was fantastic. I mean, you. It was so great seeing you, and I'm so glad you were interactive. And uh, and you you made my day with that questions you asked me about marrying you during my Q and A, and it's great putting me on the spot like that. I was so like scared that. when That's I was awesome. reading that article. I thought I, when I was reading that article, I really thought they were going to make a mockery of it. I was like, oh no, no, nah. no, the Q and A, like, ugh. no, no, but, no, no. They were, no, they it's it's okay. I mean, the media member, the media, the ex, any exposure is good exposure. They're going to do something. Uh, I've got some high hopes that they're going to be able to, uh, you know, at the end of this week, we're going to be painted in a, in a, in a different light. You got 20 seconds till the music starts playing shout outs. What do you got? Anything go. I can't even name names. Everybody, everybody, everybody that was there and everybody that wasn't there. Yeah. I love everybody. It was right just, on. it's a surreal feeling now that we know each other, like to yeah. meet each other in person. It's so different. And- and you were there at the very, very first one. Oh, yeah. By the way, tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes with Patricia Steer at 3 o'clock. Make sure to check out her channel. And I think the music's going to be playing here. Here comes the music. So, hey, come back next week. I will be right here. Same time. Same flat channel. Same flat time. Same flat channel. Oh, i got to read this thing. Anyway, thanks, guys. What is this? What is this? Is that a model of the flat geocentric earth? <laughs> nice. I had to make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs> Dance